with time to do my Premier League predictions. 20th place. It is going to be Luton Town. Who are going to break Derby County's record of scoring just 11 points in a Premier League season over 38 games. Unless Luton find any decent players between now and the end of August. Yeah, they're going down. 19th place, Sheffield United. Jack O'Connell, who was once touted to play for England but instead got passed over for Tyrone Mings at centre-back, has retired from football, and of course, he was too busy supporting his daughter at Greenwood, as of course the England Lioness has lost the World Cup. Yeah, they're going down as well. They're probably going to score like 20 points. 18th place, it's got to be Nottingham Forest. Yes, they beat Sheffield United, but frankly, they look awful. And when you're, when you're signing a player like Chris Woods, I mean, frankly, forget it. And, of course, Jesse Lingard was a massive waste of money. And, of course, he's not even... Um, Saudi Arabia don't even want him. And, of course, he's left the club anyway because he's that rubbish. 17th place is going to be Everton. Everton are going to do the great escape again for the third year in a row because, frankly, when your best player is Alex Avobi, look... No offense, but that guy is a League Two player. Sorry, I don't even care. He played. He he chose Nigeria over England because he knows he's not good enough. So, what do you need to know about that? Sixteenth place. It's going to be Fulham. They're going to escape with a by the skin of their teeth. It's going to be second season syndrome. Mitrovic has also gone to Saudi Arabia. Fifteenth place. It's going to be Bournemouth. I don't know why. I just don't get the feeling Bournemouth are going to do anything this season. 14th place. It's going to be Burnley. Vincent Company has built a decent outfit. Um, but I think they'll be in a relegation fight as well. 13th place. It's going to be Crystal Palace. Roy Hodgson is now 283 years old. But he still loves football. Um, he's kept hold of Michael Elise and, of course, Epperichi Eze. So, of course, despite losing um, one of their other talents, I keep getting... Oh, yeah, Wilfred Soho to Turkey. They'll be fine. Twelfth place, it's going to be... It's going to be Aston Villa. It just seems like that's where they belong at this point in time. Eleventh place, it's going to be... Manchester United, terrible signings, I've got to say. Rasmus Hoyland scored nine goals last season at Atalanta. Not convinced he's going to be able to do the job for Man United, to be honest. Mason Mount, terrible signing. Bruno Fernandes, loves to mold at the referee. Anthony, what a waste of money. Um, Ericsson and Casemiro are getting old. Harry Maguire has decided to stay at Man United, turning down West Ham. I don't know why. What a stupid move. And frankly, I, I don't know whether Eric Ted Hall can turn the situation around at Man United because, frankly, there's just so many rubbish players at the club after all these years. And frankly, when Jose Mourinho said it was it was an achievement, they managed to finish second with Man United back in 2017 to 2018. He was actually right because this team is awful. 10th place. It is going to be um, West Ham United, who are going to be juggling European football. But I think they'll have a decent season with, of course, James Ward-Prowse, a free-kick specialist joining the club. Ninth place. It's going to be... It's going to be Wolverhampton Wanderers. I don't know why... I just get the feeling they might actually get a few decent players this season. Who knows? It could turn around. I know they look terrible right now, but they've got rid of Raul Jimenez, who, of course, to be honest, is past his best. And Ruben Neves, who's decided to chase anybody. Eighth place, it has got to be Liverpool. Big controversial decision, but frankly, having lost... Henderson and Fabinho to Saudi Arabia and Milner to Brighton and we're I don't know uh, bringing in that Japanese guy um, Endo in 
I have to say, the team at Anfield looks a total mess. Salah's getting old. Gakpo's all right. Lewis Diaz is all right. But these lot might well be... But with so many players having left, and of course Van Dijk being a liability at centre-back, I don't really see a great season for these lot. Seventh place, it's got to be Brentford. They just look so good. They just keep buying so many cheap players and getting them to play such good football. Thomas Frank is a genius. Sixth place, it's going to be Chelsea. It's going to be a long season back to the road for, to, to glory for Mauricio Pochettino. But I have to say, though, um, I think Chelsea need a lot more enforcement around the pitch. Um, Kovacic left, who I think is quite a big player. He's gone to Man City. Um, some, I mean, the problem with Chelsea, though, they have once again bought far too many players. And I don't know how they're going to integrate them into a team. It's just a random guess at this point. Fifth place. It's going to be Brighton. Brighton just keep going from strength to strength. I don't know how they do it. Just like Brentford, they keep finding amazing players for so for such little money, but yet they keep producing miracle results. And Roberto De Zerbi is one hell of a manager. He is going to be managing in the Champions League one day. And um, fourth place. It's going to be Newcastle United. Tonali has been a superb, astute signing for the club. Eddie Howell is going to keep them moving in the right direction. Third place, Tottenham. Ange Podgeclou has shown that life after Harry Kane is actually very doable. Yes, they might miss his ability to win games by himself, but frankly, if Podge can keep his uh, philosophy and his... Um, attacking style of play implemented well and find some decent signings with the £100 million that they received for Harry Kane. I'm sure Tottenham can get in the Champions League once again. Second place and it's going to be a controversial one. Man City are going to finish second. Yes. Gondawan and Riyad Mahrez leaving the club is going to cause them quite a few issues with, of course Gondawan off to Barcelona and um, Riyad Mahrez going to the retirement league in in the camel in the in the, in the land of camels. Um, having said that, of course, um, there's plenty of centre backs in in the Man City team. I don't know why on earth he's got so many defenders, but you know, Guardiola has his ideas. But of course, with Kevin De Bruyne out for the next three months, that could be costly, and of course, if they have an injury to Erling Haaland, that might mess up it. That might see them lose the title, which means, of course, Arsenal are going to win the league. Yes, Arsenal is finally going to be their year. They're going to win the title for the first time in twenty in twenty years since, of course, the Invincibles occurred. And of course, when the Red Bull Formula One team are doing it, F one right now, they look like they could replicate um. Arsenal's invincible run, but off topic, sorry. Um, despite, I mean, if Arsenal can get a goal scorer by someone like Nicholas Falkrung in, and of course, um, get Nick Rice performing well, get um, some enforcements in defence, of course, they've already bought, uh, bought David Roy as a backup to Aaron Ramsdale. I mean, they've got a competition, they're, they're, they're solving problems around the team. I mean, if they can just... And a bit more firepower up front. I think Arsenal can do it. I think, unlike last year and many seasons before, Arsenal are not going to bottle it. Mikel Arteta is going to bring glory back to the Emirates Stadium. God, it feels weird to be calling it the Emirates Stadium. I mean, for me, it's always going to be Highbury. I don't know why on earth. I don't know. God, football is so corporate now. But if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, comment if you think I'm talking a load of rubbish. I mean, my prediction of Wolves finishing ninth is probably going to come rubbish because I'm just making it up really for fun. Thank you for watching. This has been Encore Football.